Hi there. Um, I thought I would just share a few words of what happens after you've had a fruit fast. Um, because I recently just finished a one week fruit fast where I had nothing but fruits. Um, all acidic and subacidic fruits with uh, two different types of sweet fruit. I had tamarind and I also had dates. Um, and I just thought that it would be nice just to share what happens afterwards. So not only during do you feel a lot lighter, um, and I don't mean just physically lighter, but also you just feel lighter. You have lighter thoughts, you're not feeling so heavy and dense. Um, but afterwards, um, and during, you dream more, at least we all dream, but you remember and retain those dreams and those dreams can give you a lot of insight and help you to um, understand where you are and where you need to go to next. Now I'm not saying that dreams interpret exactly as they are, but you can ask your guides and your guardian angel for help and assistance during dream time to help you to understand what your dreams are trying to tell you. The other thing that um, is really helpful from having a fruit fast is that if you ever have any issues going to the bathroom um, or if you've had any sort of constipation or you're feeling a little bit sluggish or you've got any sort of issues in the sense that you know you're not emptying yourself properly and I when I say that you know it's not just about um, actually going to the loo but if you have um, if you have odour under your armpits, if your stools are particularly uh, smelly or if your breath is smelly or if you have itchy ears or anything like this then these are also things that will clear out just from a week on a fruit fast. If they don't clear out then you need to do longer but it, it does work honestly it really works. So for me for instance I'm now going to the loo a lot more frequently than I was before. So all I had to do was a fruit fast for a week and I'm going to the loo literally every single time I eat something. Not in the sense of like um, straight away diarrhea or anything but within like say about three hours. So about three hours after I eat something I go to the loo which is actually the perfect amount of time um, that you should be giving yourself after eating something. That is really what the body should be doing. Um, of course the other thing is, is that now I always use a stool so I don't ever put my body into stress by sitting on the loo in an appropriate manner which is what most people have to do because of like the toilets that are made too high off the ground so you're not in that squat position which helps your body to naturally release um, stools. So if you have a high loo or if you're going to the toilet where you're not actually being put into a squat position, get yourself a small stool and put your feet up on it so that when you're going to the to toilet, your knees are elevated up and so that you are put into a squat position. That way it will be a lot better for your actual body, a lot better for you. And you need to do that because you have to look after yourself because hey these things aren't sort of like you know taught in schools they're not taught to people and unless you find out this information you won't know anything about it and yet it's uh, definitely beneficial so um, anyway um, if you've never done a fruit fast it's not too long to have to do it for one week and uh, I, I highly recommend it really really do so good luck with it and I hope you give it a go thanks for watching bye